I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about add keyword in csop.net. So, first I am going to show you one example. So, I am going to create one method strategy of integer here add. The name of method add here I am going to return 1. And here after return here. Here return 3. Return 4. Now, here after let's go inside the main method. So, I am going to uh, write the console cross dot to write line method. And here writing program cross dot add method. And here printing add calling add method. Here console cross dot to write line. Here program dot calling add method two times so if you execute the code at here so see at here the output is displaying one one so here if you want to see the step so press f11 so here main method control so console dot write and program dot add so at here that call add method so at here return one now that go back again program cross again return 1 so that means uh, controls are not coming this three points only no matter how many times you have given add method and how many times the add method is calling at here the output display only one so to make this iterate so we need to use if keyword so here I am going to delete this one and this also not required. So add here going to write a static and here taking one interface i enumerable and here giving the data type integer and here this is L and inside to going to write to return 1 here return 2 return 3 return 4 now here after let's go inside main method here I'm going to use a porridge loop and here integer i that I am taking here in and here L I enumerable interface name Y and here after console cross dot to right line method and here I am going to print I so at here this is red color that me here cannot implicitly convert into system or uh, int so this is int here and we cannot convert to into system collection i in here. So what we need to do at here we need to add yield keyword. So add yield here. Here yield. Here yield. Here also yield. So now see the error of now if you execute the code one more time so see at here this time this or uh, display one two three four so if you want to see the steps so f11 here yeah, control is now in main method here yeah. now control go to for each row so at here y so this is a interface i enumerable interface name now f11 so in here after now control comes to this point. Here that to L return 1. Now I here after console dot right line. So this uh, the value of I is now 1 so that print. Here after in again that go this time that return 2. Back I values 2 to print. Here now this time 3. So 3. I is now 3 so that print 3. Here after i is now return 4 
So this print for now hereafter no, no anything is there so control on and here this is the output. So and here I created one important point and this is the example the method here the method returns an object that implies, implements i innumerable interface. So this is the object uh, sorry this is a method return object that implement i innumerable interface this is the interface if a calling function is start so this is a calling function or we can say calling method or start for reaching over this object function is called again and again until it so this called again and again by using for each loop again and again until it or keyword return over so this is the things so this is uh, rifting, rifting and uh, uh, here yeah, this is uh, displaying 1 to 3 here yeah, this is uh, displaying only 1. So this kind of situation we can handle by using it keyword. So here yeah, we need to write to i innovable interface and this is the method or function name and this is the uh, rifting by using for each loop. So this is about to add keyword in csaw.net. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. And here we can iterate over data type integer. So here we can iterate or we can do looping. Iterate means iteration means repeating over data type using value using for each.